as clean and modern and developed and hyper technological as this city is, it still has a lot of green space. Where, where are all the motorbikes? It's so quiet <laughs> and clean. Sunday, 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 Sunday. Oh All kinds of Middle Eastern and Turkish restaurants in this area. Let's go this way. So on Arab Street, this food is a little bit pricey for our 20 US dollar a day budget. So we're gonna try this place, the Kampong Glam Cafe. It's Malaysian food and the reviews say it's up to five dollars, so sounds like it might work in our budget. So you can have a choice of all these foods and then they add it up at the end. Well, we don't know how much each of these are, right? And with this meal we got tofu, we got more tofu, we got a bunch of curry, shrimp, some greens, big pot of rice. These, wow. Sprouts, mm. fish, eggplant, egg, Blend or egg. greens. Downtown today to the Garden of the Bay, right? Yeah. Yeah. Gardens by the Bay. Gardens by the Bay. But on the way, there's just so much stuff to show you. I'm not really going to narrate. I'll just try to show you scenes of downtown Singapore. Chinatown in most countries has a similar look. This one has a lot of Chinese stuff, but also Middle Eastern and Indian stuff. Do you want your Chinese name? Can you write your name in Hanza? Your dad can. I can do it. Oh, you must get that. All these friends. Bread? Hello. Ah, durian. I can smell it a long way away. <laughs> durian, the queen of fruits. Ah, pizza. It's 28 dollars? This durian is actually what's in here. It's the whole context. Ah. Okay, what flavor do you want, son? We got the plum, yes. plum mochi, peach, royal flavor, pear, fruit. Ah, oh, this looks good. Citron, strawberry, fruit. Four dollar. These are four dollars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I always buy stuff when I come to China. Durian's way too expensive. I would take a nibble of this, but it's like forty bucks for a durian. Wow. I wonder they call it the queen of fruits, huh? Here in Chinatown, there's also all kinds of food, of course. And the most popular dish, 
really bad. A bit expensive, runs up to $90, $80. But everything looks really good here. Well, we're actually headed to Little India to try some food up there and meet a friend. Okay, we have three and a half dollars left. We need to top off for our train tickets, but we can only put increments of 10. Hey, Ba. So we just got to Little India, and guess what? My friend Katie's here. She's a native now, right? Yeah, pretty much. Two years? Three and a half. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Wow. Oh my god. It's pretty long, yeah. So, long. I'm hoping that she can find some good veggie food for us. And something that's cheap, because we're showing everybody like, how much we're spending. Oh yeah. Place. We can <laughs> spend the maximum of like five bucks here. Six. We're trying to survive on 20 bucks a day in Singapore. Oh. Okay, let's find some food. Yeah. So we have slightly limited options on Monday because of uh, restaurant tours have to take a break sometimes. So we'll find something. Nice. We came to the right place. Sorry, I ordered already. What you got there? Um, two things I know I ordered, and one thing I'm not sure if I ordered. It. <laughs> We're gonna have to sort this one out. Popular place here in Little India. This is tough. Yeah, okay, that's why look at this right. Was like, I need like fresh vegetables. Thai so, food, yeah. Indian food. I wonder how spicy this is. Thanks so much, Katie. It's been fun. You didn't see all the stories. <laughs> We're not sharing those, but. It's been great catching up here in Singapore. Yes. And uh, we might have to visit again soon. Yes. Of course, you gotta stop by McDonald's. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs>